happy Tuesday, Geminis. How are my loves doing today? Um, I'm throwing cards all over the place. Let me uh, gather these up. We're going to get started on your reading. And I hope everyone is enjoying their Tuesday thus far. Please like and subscribe, guys. Uh, it takes a quick second, and it helps me tremendously if you're enjoying the readings. And let's get started. All right, guys. I'm seeing someone something was done to you and you're feeling left out in the cold and you're spending time by yourself okay you're really upset about whatever this was and yeah you're not feeling good about yourself right now so you're holding up you're hermiting up um you do have your cycle here, but it's unable to flow. Like, you know, I tell everybody when you're going through negative emotions, all of this, what's included in the cycle is just a whole slew of awesomeness, you know, devised, indip you know, individually for yourself, for you. Okay. Um, everything in here is for your betterment, but it can't flow because you're feeling these emotions. Um, and also you know, spirit wants you to know if you can get in a state of gratefulness, you are a manifesting ninja. You'll be able to pull in everything that this cycle has waiting for you. All right, let's continue. You're also feeling a financial crunch. All right, so I'm picking up on two separate feminine energies, okay? One of the feminines here made a commitment to the other to help her out financially, okay? Um, and this person, you're both being really strong right now. Um, and I guess you have to be when you think about the events and what's going on around the world. And, you know, one of you is pulling on your strength a little more than the other, Um because of this commitment it's not that you're you're not wanting to make this commitment or you can't make the commitment it's just um there's something about it that requires you to be strong all right we're going to continue here all right i'm seeing this lover or this partner from a previous time um Who's, who's needing to connect with you for some reason. They're carrying this burden about the past. All right. And this might have something to do, guys, with the purge we're going through right now. All this energy and us, you know, the movement, moving into the fifth dimension, jumping timelines, the, um, you know, just we're, we're dealing with solar light, solar flashes, and things that affect the human body, also the, the, um, I forgot what it's called, okay, it's, it has to do with vibration, the earth's vibration, the Schumann resonance, okay, is also affecting us physically and mentally, so, you know, this person might be going through part of this purge right now, and some of it might be about you, all right? And they, they are going to maybe come in and contact you, all right? Because they feel guilty and bad about something that they did. Um, they know they made you feel um, pretty bad when you were with them. And it looks like they want to make it up to you, okay? Um, not that they want to go back with you. Not necessarily that they want to get into a relationship with you again, but they just want to connect and, you know, make things good. Make good on what happened, basically, okay? So let's go further. Yep, so I'm picking up on this masculine, all right, who, who did something with this maybe a third party here okay and this this hurt you this was something sneaky that he did you know uh this person has learned since then this person has raised their vibration and you know they realized this was something that hurt you and was underhanded and they want to come in with this ace of wands and make things better okay so let's continue All right, so I have a feminine here who is well-to-do. You have everything you could want in life. You have abundance, 
and you feel great. You're serene. You're like a nature lover. Um, you put yourself in a position where you are close to nature, so you're enjoying that. And you are very spiritual, and you know how to use your intuition, okay? Um, you did walk away from somebody at one time, this King of Pentacles. This could have been recent, or it could have been a while ago. I'm not sure on the time factor, but you're using your intuition. You're thinking about this King, okay? Um, you're thinking about how good you had it when you were together and how happy you were and you have all these memories um a lot of this guys is again you know we're, our memories from the past are coming up we're doing this purge uh bad memories maybe some good ones um but mainly we're trying to purge the negativity okay this negativity is coming from past lives this life um Many of you might be feeling really upset and not even knowing why. Um, many of you might be sleeping more, sleeping less, not tired at night, but not able to get up in the morning or vice versa. This is the Schumann Resonance energy. We're, this is uh, biblical. We're living in a biblical time and this is happening to um, help us evolve we're evolving humanity is evolving and we're moving into this next dimension now when i say the next dimension we're not going to be like in a whole different place we're still going to see the people that we're used to seeing um the difference is going to be the way we are, we're going to perceive our lives okay um we are going to raise our vibration or we already have so we are perceiving life as uh, our glass is half full versus half empty. All right. We're able to see good things coming in and we focus in on the good things. So we don't even really notice the negative things unless it's something huge. Okay. Whereas people that are lower vibrating that are third dimensional, it just means you haven't lived as many lives as we have yet. You haven't had your uh, spiritual awakening. Um, you can't get out of the matrix. You know, everything you've been told, um, that's your belief system and that was done to you on purpose. That belief system was given to you on a plate so that basically you would just believe what was given to you on that plate, all right? There's a whole other world out there, guys, okay? You can open up and be open to hear about new things or things that don't mesh with your, you know, previous beliefs or you could stay in that matrix. That's up to you, but I'll tell you right now, people staying in the matrix are going to be a lot less happy, all right? So anyway, I'm seeing you perceiving, I mean, you know, using your intuition regarding this king of pentacles over here, and here I'm seeing this is what you want, this is what you're fantasizing about, okay? You're fantasizing about this happy life with this king, um, you know, and you have money, so you're going to you know, you're fantasizing about the relationship that you have money. So that's just an added bonus um, in case this king doesn't. But it looks like he does. It looks like he also um, is, you know, well to do. So between the two of you, your wish fulfillment just might come to fruition where you're you're here celebrating with your person and there's money all around you. There's family celebrating with you. Okay, let's go further. All right, I'm picking up on a masculine energy who, who got his heart broken recently and is feeling defensive. All right, spirit is saying that your wish fulfillment is going to come to fruition and therefore you're going to get your justice. Okay, I don't know who you are, but if that is resonating with you, um, then that's, that's a good thing. All right, and here I'm seeing a lot of healing. I'm seeing this Knight of Wands and this Queen of Cups doing a lot of healing here um, and sorting things out. Now, again, this I'm getting a lot of love for the past two days. Almost every reading is about love. So this is meaningful, okay? I always tell everybody, I tell my Geminis, I tell my Aquariuses that love is going to be life-changing. It's going to change the world. It's going to change everything that we know about the world right now, okay? Because if you think about it, the world is not very loving, okay? We have all kinds of, you know, 
negativity that we keep hearing about um, shootings killings people not respecting one another people aggressive being aggressive on the road being aggressive toward other people um, ripping ripping off things from the stores um, all kinds of crazy right so uh, but this is about love and because we're seeing these readings now uh, for the past couple days pretty continuous I'm going to go out on a limb and say that this part of like maybe we are partially in this fifth dimension or we're ready to step into it. Okay, so we cannot get into the there is no, um, you know, hate in the fifth dimension. That's why it, it's a totally different. Um, it's going to feel like a, have a totally different feel to it. Okay, um, so anyway. You know, um, we're working through, we're working through things and we're doing some healing. All right. And we're getting this clarity. We're getting this crystal clear clarity, um, with this healing. Okay. So, <clears throat> all right. Now we have the star dead center, Gemini. This is you. All right, you are the star, and as you know, spirit sees you as the star, but more so they want you to see yourself, uh, how important you are, and that you are the star, so that you do not let people talk down to you or disrespect you, okay? If you don't know that, and you're, you know, feeling like less than that about yourself, you need to get into a state of gratefulness and love and nurture yourself. Put yourself on that pedestal. Put yourself on a pedestal as if you were totally in love with yourself. How do you treat someone you're madly in love with? Okay. You say beautiful things to them. You buy them gifts. You put them on a pedestal. You want them to be happy. You want to see a smile on their face. Do all those things for you. And there is no better person to do that kind of thing for than yourself because you're the only one who knows what makes you tick and what's going to make you the happiest, right? All right. Other people that say, I wish so-and-so would do this or say this, then I'd be happy. Those people are never happy because they're expecting something that most likely is never going to happen all right everybody's kind of into their own world and you know focusing on it's hard enough just to focus on ourselves let's be honest right now make sure we have enough money put enough food on the table for our families we're not running around you know totally conscious and thinking about geez how many wonderful things can I do for so-and-so today to make them feel loved right so we have to put ourselves on a pedestal, all right? This is going to free you up from these emotional uh, bouts that you're going through, this, this feeling of anxiety and fear and all these emotions, okay? And I want to say I'm talking to a feminine, all right? Once you can do this and you start putting yourself on this pedestal, this is going to free things up for you. It's going to free your flow as well. And I'm seeing an offer coming in, possibly several, all right? I'm seeing a balancing out with this Knight of Cups for somebody, all right? This is for someone single who, you know, right now you're thinking about how it would be nice to have someone in your life, but you're feeling the opposite. You're feeling alone. You're feeling lonely. You're feeling upset, actually, that you're, you know, stuck. Um, but I'm seeing this person coming in, wanting to give their cup, and this is going to balance things out for you and this person and bring in this four of wands, bringing all, all this happiness. Okay. You can see in the background, there's a castle, a beautiful home and overhead. There's abundance, there's fruit, there's everything you could want to, to, um, it's abundant. Okay. So yeah, this is great. Gemini, this is uh, all good things such a positive reading for you i'm so happy i'm seeing the sun coming out for this emperor who recently had to make this um decision to end something all right i'm seeing your happiness coming in quick this is the chariot this is a lot of movement okay and this is uh your emotions subsiding you you know feeling like yourself again getting yourself back and slowly but surely you know, gaining back your all your confidence. You are a mature masculine. You're very powerful. People listen to you when you speak, um, and you're successful in life. And I'm seeing the sun coming for you. This is a lot of happiness. It's also new starts and new beginnings. Okay, so that is awesome. 
all right? Over here, somebody's working hard on... Okay, guys, somebody's working hard on this thing that is just, it's going wrong. It's going wrong. It's going wrong. Um, you keep trying to rework it. You keep trying to do it in a different way. It, you know, and I'm seeing this card here, all right? So it's just not working, yet you're working hard. You keep trying to um, change it and fix it, and it looks like it might be financial, all right? It's not going to work with this particular uh, job or career. Okay, um, this might be resonating with somebody right now because you're going to use your intuition and your knowing, which is your intuition, and inside of you, you're going to say, oh my God, she's right, that's me, okay? But you are going to get some kind of communication on another position that you're either going to go for or that you already have and you're kind of waiting on, okay? That's going to be the right move for you. All right, I'm seeing the super duper offer coming in. That's going to make your cup overflow with happiness. Okay, and this could be like something that isn't close to where you live, this position. So you've been, you know, one foot in and one foot out about it. Um, and, you know, not really knowing what's going on in the background. If this position is something you really want, give them a call you communicate with them okay you want your name to be on their lips oh that person uh keeps calling that person what about what about this person you know um don't just wait for them all right um yeah put your best foot forward and call up and and find out what the status is that you're truly truly interested if you are all right here i have the world i have this huge opportunity this is something that somebody really wants, all right? You've been wanting this um, for so long that you're almost forgetting about it. You're not even thinking about it anymore. You're looking away, all right? Um, you're thinking it's over, but I'm seeing that, you know, come back to this. This is your wish fulfillment. Come back and, you know, start manifesting because you're going to be celebrating, all right, this wish is going to come true for you. All right, Gemini, that is the reading. I hope that you enjoyed it, and I hope you have a fabulous day.